Hi, I'm Rodonna from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. So today I have Chris with me. Um, we love, love Chris's haircut and she gets compliments everywhere she goes. And so I wanna show you this haircut. Um, and I tell her not, it's not just the cut, but she knows how to style it. I don't. And she's like, no, no. And I'm like, yeah, they wouldn't tell you they loved your haircut if it didn't look good. So she does an amazing job styling it. So um, first thing, we're just put the head down. We're gonna cut the, the back up just a little bit here. And then um, we just take the trimmers and clean that up. So I'll do that. Just trim this up. But so, and I do want to tell you, um, so Chris has um, a lot of hair. Now the texture is more fine, but she does have a lot of hair. And so, with that being said, a lot of texture is good for a lot of fine, fine hair. Okay, oh, here it is. Sorry, I'm just looking for the little thing to get her down a little. Okay, so she doesn't like this really spiky, so we just dry it and then it, it bends a little bit up through here. So, um, we're just kind of trimming this up. So we're just gonna take this point cut. Um, and and when I hold this up, you'll be able to see a little bit that it's a little bit edgy. Can you see that in between? But that's a good thing. That's, that's the way you want it. You don't really want it cut like straight. You just wanna kind of cut into it a little bit to change that up. And it's not a huge deal, but it's crazy the different look that it gives it if you point cut instead of just the straight cut. Okay, so same thing here. You can see I, I like to rest my my ring finger. I rest it there and cut that. Okay, now up top here, same thing. I'm going to the side of that. And with each section that you hold up, you'll be able to see where you have cut. And so that's the, the guideline that I go with. Um, if you feel like you need to part it off, then, then that's great. You can part that off, um, you know, to keep track exactly where you're at. Um, gosh, after 25 years, well, 26, no, 25 years of doing hair, um, you just kind of get in, in the routine of keeping your, <laughs> the sections of where you're at. So if not, it's totally fine. You can um, just, you know, totally part them off and use your clips to, um, you know, keep the hair separated. So um, the bottom part here, you guys, we are, I angle in. And what I mean by that is take my fingers and touch the head more down here, not clear up here, but about here down, um, I touch my fingers to the head. So it's a little bit tighter back there. Um, I think it makes the haircuts, the shorter cuts, look nice when it's nice and tight and clean down at the bottom. So that's why I kind of like to have that a little bit tighter. Um, some people don't like it, you know, tight. So obviously talk through them with that and make sure they like it. Chris likes it, right? Less to do? <laughs> yes, less to do. That's right. It just goes into its spot. Yeah, sometimes with Chris's hair, once in a while, um, I always tell her, if your, hair if your hair starts to feel a little heavy, just call me and run in and we'll hurry and texturize it, which you can do dry. And so we definitely do that sometimes just because like I said, with a lot of hair, it's fine, but with a lot of it, it can get heavy really fast. And the texturizing can kind of grow out fast, it feels like. So that's always nice to come in and texture it. So that's another little hint, like if you guys don't wanna go get your hair cut that often, but it starts to feel heavy and stuff, then that is a good time to just go in, have your stylist just kind of take the, the texturizing shears through it, take some of that bulk out so it will stand up again. You bet. 
those are the cute, uh, yeah. this, this uh, client over here was Stephanie. She's so cute. Last week she um, knew that I would be moving soon. And so she brought all these boxes in and left them for me. I wasn't here that day, but it was so cute. And then Stephanie's daughter brought them in. And anyway, so it's so cute. That's, that's the thing about, you know, renting the salon till my house is done. It has been so fun. Me and Stephanie are such best good friends. Like it's super fun getting to know her and all of her clients. And so, yeah, that's a fun thing about being in a salon. Um, is the friends that you make and yeah, so that part's been fun. Okay, so um, you can just kind of cut at that, just have that be a little bit shorter there. Okay, and now for the top. Okay, I'm just gonna point cut into this also. You doing good, Chris? I'm good, yeah. Awesome. She has a cutest little grandbaby bow. Oh my gosh. He is a cutie. Yes, he is. They say grandkids are the best. I can't wait. They are. It will be great. Okay, so you can see I'm just coming straight across too for those layers, okay? Um, now she goes to this side. Okay, I'm gonna hold this. Just out, point cut into that. And especially her top and her front here, um, we can be really, we can kind of, <laughs> my word would be chop into it. So just because it does get really heavy over here. So you can just kind of, point cut into this, chop into this. See how there's like bigger pieces with longer pieces, just because she has so much hair up there. And when she styles it, some will, you know, like piece out a little bit better, easier. It feels better. So, so you can do that too, if your client has enough hair. Okay, now do you want this over your ear a little bit? Or do you want to cut up over? What do you um, think, sweetie? Let's cut it up. Okay, we're going to cut it up. Okay, so you're going to start at the top of the ear. Just hold this down. Good choice, Chris. I love when you cut it up over your ear. It is easier to do, too. Right, it doesn't get in your way. Okay, so you can see that I'm just kind of cutting that hair up around up there. And then of course, I'm gonna just kind of take this a little shorter, like that other side. Okay, perfect. Then I'm gonna hold this down. And then I, on a, I wanna keep this front piece long right here. So keep that long, but take from this front longest piece and angle up. Oh, I think you're going to love that, Chris. That'll be good. Then you won't have all that yeah. over here yeah. <laughs> to have to deal with. Yes. So you can see I'm just coming up towards the front of her ear right there. Okay. Yeah, that'll be cute. Okay. Now right here, we're going to hold these layers out. You can see this layer. So we are going to angle down, take that length off over here. So it blends in with those top layers. Okay, just like that. We're still good from last time, last week. Okay, so same here, right here behind the ear. Thank you. And right there when you cut it up over the ear. And then you come by this front part of the ear come down into this longest piece because we want to keep that long. And I always kind of like to, to bring this back a little bit too, just to see if there's any little hairs and there was there. So you can kind of see like, oh, I need a little bit, you know, shorter there. See ya, have a good week, dear. Well, thank you. See ya. Bye-bye.
Yeah, she's the sweet lady that brought me all the boxes. Oh, I loved it. I was like, oh, that is so thoughtful. Okay, so of course I'm gonna come through this area, make sure both lengths are the same. Okay, those are good. Now, to piece this front out, I'm gonna come this way, open and shut my shears softly. And you can see I go about a quarter of an inch over and just start taking hair out. That way it leaves shorter hairs in there with the longer hairs to the side of it, especially where she has so much hair. Um, if we don't do this, then it just hangs super heavy around the front area of her hair. <laughs> Sorry, all that darn hair in your face. That's okay. I'll try to get it off in one second. So, and that's the thing too. It's, it's not like she likes them super short. So I just cut into them like that. Okay, so then just, you know, kind of make sure those sides meet up. Um, now we're gonna texturize. And then after I dry, if I feel like we need length off of her veins, then I just come back in and do that. So through all of this area, it's, it's the tight, the tighter teeth. I'm gonna come up about a half inch in and just kind of do a couple throughout here, just so this doesn't stay heavy. Even though it's short, she has so much hair that just you just need it, <laughs> you really do. Okay, now up here, I'm coming down in about a half an inch up, okay? And I just come in and take one, one like I just close it one time up through that area. Then through all this top, then I come through the top with the, the chunky texturizing shears because she has so much hair. So, and we want this to be textures. Okay, perfect. Um, I love to use both texturizing shears on Chris because she does have so much hair and we want it to look PC when she dries it and styles it. Okay, so now we're gonna use some mousse. And then Chris is really excited because now I'm gonna blow all the hair off of her face. Not it's probably worried. tickling, huh? Is it? It's <laughs> not bothering me. Oh good, you're awesome. Of course you would say that. Okay, so after I put that mousse in, now we're gonna dry. Okay, just dry back and forth in the back. Same thing, you can see I'm moving my fingers and the blow dryer at the same time. The other thing too with texturizing in the back is it won't take as long to dry. Obviously less hair in there. Okay, back and forth on the side, on the top. See how I'm kind of going back and forth with my, my hand. shows you um, with the mousse I would definitely use a mousse too because that won't weigh the hair down um, but I could see over here we needed just a little bit more cutting it looks thick and heavy through that area so I'm gonna bring this in so see I, this won't take length it's just it's like almost texturizing it so it doesn't feel like it's all one length 
because I don't want it shorter. Obviously, we don't want it shorter, but it was bulky there. So that's how you can get the bulk gone without taking length. Is just take little chunks, if you want to call them. <laughs> Me and my wording. Yeah, it's all good. Is that my little Nephi talk? I don't know. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take this pomade. This is what I have been using. I'm gonna take a chunk of that, and I think I'm gonna need more for her hair just because I know her hair. Um, and this is a shine pomade. So I am liking this one and the way um, that it makes the hair stay it really sticks it into place so but yet it adds shine it's not a dull it's not dull so that's nice okay so you can see i'm just kind of lifting up on this back part too just kind of lift and pull and you can see i didn't flat iron it or anything so it's not like spiky up top this is just how it dries okay i'm going to use just a little bit more Just to like piece this front out. That's what's really cute too with Chris's haircut is she definitely knows how to piece it out. We need just a little bit more on this side. So see, once you start, once you start styling and stuff, you're gonna be able to see what you need still felt thick through there and a little long so you just take your shears take a little bit more off and you're good to go okay so now we're going to come through we're going to back comb this so this stays up you doing good chris i'm doing great okay awesome <laughs> it's exciting she gets to go home and tender grandbaby He's not a baby anymore. I cannot believe he's a year. Yes, he's a year. That's weird. Okay, so after that, I'm gonna spray. And no, we're not leaving it like this, but I like to spray it after, after I um, back comb it. And then I just take my Epic brush and kind of just put it into place. Then I'm gonna turn her to the mirror so I can put it in place um, by looking in the mirror because I can't see. <laughs> so, how does it feel? It feels a lot better. See, and you love it like off your ears. <laughs> yes, I do. I'm glad that you said, you know what, let's go up. And it doesn't work well with glasses. Oh, right. That's exactly. In fact, I'm glad you brought that up. I've had ladies tell me that. Like, you know what? When I have it a little longer in glasses, it pokes out. So with glasses, yep, most everybody. So yeah, I'm glad that you brought that up. Okay, I'm just going to check that out. Okay, now we're going to spray her. Chris. Okay, now I'm gonna just go around so you can see the back. All right, well, thanks so much for your support. Um, I hope you loved Chris's haircut. I am so happy she let us um, videotape. So thanks again, and you guys have a good day, and we'll see you next time. See ya.